Hey everyone, how's it going? Today, I'm going to be scraping up the barn lot here. As you can see, it's getting really muddy and sloppy right up through here. I'm going to scrape the mud and the gunk off and pile it up somewhere. And then hopefully here in the next week, I'll be able to get a load of uh, stone to put down here. And this way I'm not sliding and getting stuck in my own barn lot. Real quick before I start scraping the barn lot, my dad was nice enough to scrape this off for me while we could. Um, he piled it up over there. I'll have to haul that away sometime. But the calves need to be put back in this lot here. They're right over there, so I'm going to go open the gate and let them back in through here so they can eat and drink. Well, as you can see, they're back in their lot. They're pretty curious and they look pretty excited that they now have a drier place to lay on at night now, which should help them grow better. Like I said, I'm gonna hop in the bobcat and I'm gonna start scraping away. As you can see, the pile that I made here, it's a lot bigger than I was expecting. A lot more mud and gunk here on the ground. But I think that's about does it for now. It doesn't look too pretty, but when I get some stone down, it'll look a lot better. Now while it's a nice day outside and I have some daylight, I'm gonna go ahead and pressure wash the machinery. I got the backhoe here, the Kubota, and then it's Bobcat. I got him muddy today. Well, Dad got the back home muddy, but he decided to park it dirty and let me deal with the mess. I'm also gonna chance getting my phone wet. Unlike last time, I pressure washed the livestock tra trailer. And I'll try to get some footage of me pressure washing here. I just got done pressure washing here. I want to put everything back up for tonight. And I'll see you guys again on day two. Aw oh man, seat's wet. I'm 
Good morning, everyone. It's now day two. I'm out here in the barn lot. It's nice not walking in mud for once to get to the hay barn. I'm gonna be uh, selling some hay today. And to get to the hay, I have to move the tractor right there. Let's just hope she starts this morning. Now I had the first load of hay out. Now I'm gonna go hook up the livestock trailer again, and I'm gonna go deliver some hay this afternoon. I got the trailer hooked up with my dad's truck here. I'm gonna go ahead and have it by the shop and check the air pressure on the tires and make sure all the lights work and stuff. The person that was helping me load hay this morning, his name's He's a friend of mine, but he works for the guy who uh, bought the hay off me. Well, there's three tires that could use a little bit more air in them, so I'm going to go do that real quick. So I'm putting air the tires here. There's an air hose that extends back to an air compressor. So where we're going today is a few hours away, which is why I made sure the tires were all aired up and all the lights worked. My cousin Jacob's gonna be helping me deliver this hay today. I'm in the livestock trailer here. I have to clean this apartment up so I can put shove some bales in there. I'm not quite too sure how many bales like I can fit in this livestock trailer, but the flatbed trailer I have access to is currently out of commission, so I'm a bit st stuck using this livestock trailer for now. I was looking at some of the names you guys put down in the comments. Some of them are pretty stupid, like naming it Adam after me. And I'm not too sure if I'll go that far. <laughs> but the other one was uh, Stellar. So we have Stellar here. And as you can see, he's lacking some bedding. So I'm going to put some more bedding in here for him. Probably about a half a bale should do it. So this is what you call a small square bale. I just cut it open. But I want to give about half of it it's from there on over. Should be enough for the calf for a few days. So I put some straw in. I guess he decided to eat it over the hay. But he'll spread it out himself and make himself comfortable. This is Jacob right there. If you want to wave, <laughs> he's going to help me uh, load this trailer up with some hay. I'm not too sure how well you'll be able to see us putting hay in here because it's kind of closed in, so there's really not a good angle to put the camera. Well, I just got the hay loaded up on the trailer here. I got 149 bales squeezed in. I was hoping to squeeze more in, but... I just underestimated the amount I could fit in this trailer, but everything's good to go. I'm going to grab a bite to eat real quick and I'll be out on my way.
you guys enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and family. And also, leave a like and comment down below. Thanks. Bye.